Now, of course, magic, or all thought and action, depends upon certain very basic laws. It is undoubtedly true that a magician or actor, in this case, loses his power by the projection of visualizations. Uh, the more visualizations you project, virtually the more power you lose, or theoretically the more power you lose. For instance, if you were to perform any magical action, shall we take a good one, such as the Twelve Blessings? If you were to perform this magical action, and it's white magic, without getting something back in return for your outward projection, uh, you would soon lose uh, your power. With the Twelve Blessings, though, it is so perfectly balanced, the whole ritual is so balanced, that what goes out comes back, and comes back in a very, very definite uh, manner, without you having to particularly strive for it. Another case is often when I have given a very fiery speech to a large audience. I don't mean a class. I mean a fiery speech to a large audience and put out tremendous magnetism. The audience have just sat there and lapped up this magnetism, gone out feeling very, very much better whether they've disagreed or agreed with what has been said. Often I can get this power back at once, but there have been a few times when I haven't been able to. And for one or two hours I just have liked the ground to open up and swallow me up because this is a terrible feeling. It's just as though every spot of blood has been taken from the body and you're absolutely dry, completely dry, drained right down uh, of your very life force.